Greetings, welcome to this new video about superposition theorem. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of the superposition method to solve a problem and I will guide you through the step by step process of using superposition to solve the problem at hand. Let's consider this network consisting of two resistors labeled R1 and R2 as well as two independent sources Vs and Is. The question now is to calculate the voltage V across the resistor R2 using superposition theorem. Let's move on to the solution. First, we begin by identifying each independent source in this uh, circuit. This step provides a clear understanding of the source that will be analyzed individually. In this circuit, we can observe two independent sources, one independent voltage source, Vs, and one independent current source, Is. Next, we proceed to deactivate all but one independent source in the circuit. This involves replacing the inactive voltage sources with a short circuit, which means a zero voltage, and the current sources with an open circuit, which mean, means a zero current. Let's begin now by activating the independent voltage source and deactivating the independent current source which will be replaced by an open circuit. The next step is to solve the circuit using conventional techniques. In order to find the voltage Va across the resistor R2, we can apply the voltage division method. That means Va is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times Vs. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain Va is equal to 2 volt. Now let's consider the independent current active, the independent current source active and the independent voltage source inactive, which will be replaced by a short circuits. In order to find the voltage Vb across the resistor R2, we need first to calculate the current I through the resistor R2. To calculate the current I, we can apply the current division method. That means I is equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 times Is. And if we replace R1, R2, and Is with their numerical values, we obtain I is equal to 2 amps. According to Ohm's law, the voltage Vb across the resistor R2 is equal to R2 times I. And if we replace R2 and I with their numerical values, we obtain Vb is equal to 8 volts. After completing the analysis of each independent source while treating the others as turned off, the subsequent step is to combine the results algebra algebraically. This process enables us to find the overall circuit response. That means the voltage V across the resistor R2 is equal to Va plus Vb. And if we replace, Va and Vb with their numerical values, we obtain V is equal to 10 volt. After we finish the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE in order to verify our results. Now, let's proceed to the SPICE environment. This is our network drone in SPICE simulator. Let's start first with this one. We can see here Vs is active and Is is inactive. And in this circuit, Is is active and Vs is inactive. And this is, is the complete circuit. Let's move on to analysis. They say analysis, calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that Va is equal to 2 volt and Vb is equal to 8 volt and V, the voltage across the resistor R2, is equal to 10 volt. 
after completing the circuit simulation, we can clearly observe the similarity between the simulation and calculation result. This serves as a validation of our work. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video about superposition method. Take care and bye bye.